Hello my lovely Scorpio, welcome to your reading for August 2022. This is a general reading for you Scorpio, it's a reading for Scorpio Sun Rising and Moon Sign. If you haven't already subscribed and would like to, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you'll know when I'm posting new videos. Thank you for supporting, commenting, liking, sharing my uh, channel. I really appreciate your support. helps me to bring more of these videos to you. Scorpio, I've been meditating on your energy and <clears throat> I'm just feeling like, wow, you've been busy. It's also going to continue through August. I'm feeling like there's planning, planning, plan. I've got to plan this, I've got to plan that, and where do I want to be, and, and what do I want to do? I feel like there's planning of a holiday or a trip. There's a planning of, of um, writing up a CV, going for a new job, a uh, completion of study. It's just there's busyness. There's also renovating. I feel like there's renovations going on or changing, moving furniture around, making your space more comfortable. Uh, some of you are pulling down walls and, and you know, redecorating, re painting. Uh, there's, it's just this this um, energy of of busyness. Now, this energy of busyness is going to also be very very good for you in August because what that does is it's it's sort of um, stopping that stagnation. Um, it's it's moving you forward. So you're actually shaking up the energy in doing that. There's this sense of um, things need to be done. I'm, I'm busy. I've got I've got plans. I know where I want to be. I, I want to set uh, set plans. It's almost as if well, I'm going to set plans and set goals, and that way time doesn't run away with you. Uh, you know where you think oh, six months have just gone. What have I done? I feel like there's this um, energy of of needing to fill in that space with with projects with things that interest you, with things that you're going to enjoy as well. Um, looking for work, looking for a new job, looking for a new position. There's also all of that. So there's this practical element that's coming in, a practical energy that's coming in for you in August. So I really like that. I'm going to draw a card from my archetypes deck to see what archetype you're working with. Um, what energy is there for you? What is driving this? Ooh, that's interesting. Gnosis, gnosis. Let's have a look at that. That's one of the, the very final cards in the, in this um, archetypes. So it's a quite an advanced, you're quite an, at an advanced um, point, I want to say to you, which it's almost one of the last cards in the deck. So you're really sort of uh, getting to that sort of point in the, look, it's right at the back of the book. Um, and it's, it, you're getting to that point of <clears throat> completion of a cycle. So there's a cycle that's coming to a close here. It's a cycle of, you know, if it's a cycle of stagnation or a, st a cycle of um, doing for others or a cycle of not being able to really look at what you're wanting, what, what you're wanting to complete, what you're wanting to do. Now's the time to put that in motion. Let's have a look at what it says. True knowledge is not found in facts and figures in scholarly books on library shelves. Rather, Gnosis points to the deep and timeless archetypal wisdom that arises from the felt experience. And that is what I'm feeling the energy that is coming in for you. It's the felt, it's, it's your intuition that's causing you to move things on like this, to bring in this change of having touched the unknown with every one of the senses. Those who are drawn to Gnosis find themselves in esoteric studies, like involving likely involving mysticism, alchemy, healing, or perhaps science. Knowing is their calling. Not knowing is their job description, no matter how far the alchemists take their studies. They come to the ultimate conclusion that facts slip toward mystery, and soon the mystery results in facts. This card signifies... <laughs> That's heavy, isn't it? This card signifies a knowing that is life-changing. Yeah. Once you experience it, you are forever changed and become a guardian. The eternal mystery is calling you. Study your passion in the deepest way available. 
So it's this real time of contemplation, this real time of discovery, this real time of following your intuition. And I feel like this driving force that is there for you is a for, is a driving force of, um, it, you, it's almost like you don't have a choice. You're really driven to, to look at this, set goals, bring in changes, get that stagnation, it's moving. It's moving. It's just unstoppable. You're going to be unstoppable. That energy is unstoppable. It is a great time of change and of, of getting things done on the physical realm as well as the spiritual, the intuitive. What have we got here? Yeah, you see, you've got the butterfly. I'm uh, sorry, I'm looking at your totem, your, your spirit animal. And your spirit animal is the soul, is the butterfly. The butterfly is about transformation. The butterfly is about um, bringing in change, self-discovery, evolving, evolving. It's the soul's journey that it evolves and grows. The caterpillar gets into the cocoon. There's hibernation or stagnation. When it emerges, it's the butterfly and it's evolving. And so your soul is also evolving. You're, you're transforming with this the, with this change you also got another card which is the chameleon and the chameleon is about change it's interesting how the two uh, really uh, relate to each other the change brings transformation the change in you the change in your thinking and the changes you want to bring into your environment is going to create a transformation and growth in you that's an exciting thing no lovely Scorpio I'm going to create the Celtic cross. Let's see what that holds for you. That in itself, though, those those three cards really say it all. Um, they really say it all. I feel like the changes are going to be swift. This energy that you maybe some of you are already feeling it in July, the last week of July. Um, Timing is going to be different for all of you, but it is a time of uh, you know it's a it's a joyous time. It's a time of of celebration. It's a time of bringing in newness around you. Wow, you've got some really good cards here, my lovely Scorpio. So it's it's. Um, August is going to be a month that's really going to work for you, work in your favour. Getting you ready. You know, in the in the north, in the southern hemisphere, August is the last day of winter, the last month of winter, and then we're getting ready for spring. Uh, and so there's that time of emergence and new growth. Let's have a look. Okay, you're coming from this uh, This awareness that you've got is a time of celebration. So there's celebrations around you. So whether it's a wedding, uh, birth of a child, um, an anniversary, or just celebrating this new awareness that you have, this joy that you have within you of, oh, I know, you know, let's get things done. It, you're feeling energized. You're feeling energized, which brings in tremendous change very swiftly, very swiftly. Anything that, any obstacles that are there are going to be overcome. There's people there to support you. For example, if you're painting, you need to find a painter, or someone's going to go, oh, I've got, a, I've got a phone number for you. I've got this really good painter. So there's people there to help you overcome any obstacles or anything that you need to um, get over or, or work through. I don't feel like there, there's anything big. I feel like these things are going to happen swiftly. Uh, you'll get through them very, very quickly, which brings you to, um, you know, these things that, that come up for you. They're also coming up for you to, to help you realize what it is you don't want what it is you do want goal setting this uh, it's going to be at the beginning of august a real time for goal setting which i like this is the seven of cups so there's a time for setting goals uh, setting your heart's desire don't be limited um, by practicality let your imagination run away with you and really Fill in the blanks. You know, what is it? You have your wish list. What is it that you want? You don't have to worry about how it's going to come about. You just need to know what it is you want in that, in, in your goals, in moving forward. You've got the Princess of Pentacles, and that's also planning, planning on a on a practical level. But look at the, the sun in the in the background there. It's it's the dawning of a new day. It's this sunrise. It's um 
things are going to start falling into your and you know that you get this sense of feeling really good about where you are at and what you're planning and how you're moving forward and what you're going to do with this next chapter in your life which is opening up to you it can be, you know, I no longer want to work where I'm working. I want to work differently. I want, I, you know, I want to go for that promotion. I'm, pl you know, planning a holiday. Um, my my home environment needs to change. Whether if you're renting, you move, or if you own your home, you're uh, renovating it, making it what you're wanting it to be. So, you know, it, it's really the balls in your court, Scorpio. What do you want to do? There's, you're going to be busy. It's what, as as I said in the in your channeled message, it's like busy, busy, busy. Oh, things to do, things. To be, you know, I've got to do this, and I've got to get that done. I'm setting this goal, and I want to investigate that, and I want to research that. There's busyness, which it, which produces the abundance. What you're wanting to fill your life with, what goodness. It can be financial, it can be joy, it can be love, it can be uh, a sense of belonging, it can be whatever abundance is for you. Fulfillment. It, there's, it's going to come out, over, across over to you in bucket loads. You're going, you're going to really feel this fulfillment in your life, but it's through your efforts. So the more you put in, the more you're going to get out of this in August. Very important. It's very important. You can't sit on the lounge and go, oh, yeah, well, this is, you know, Isabel said that this is going to be a great month. You've got to work towards it. You've got to sense it. You've got to feel what transformation are you needing to make of yourself, of your life? What changes? There's new learning. Here's the Ace of Swords. New learning, new way of communicating. Um, there's new way of thinking. So your, your perception of things is going to be different. The way you're thinking is going to be different. Uh, it's it's a, a new. It's the new dawning. It's a new new beginning here for you. It's going to change your attitude, change your thinking, change your behaviour, change your perception of how you see what's going on in your life and bringing the changes in is going to also make bring that change in you and in, in how you think about life how you think about things the world is your oyster my lovely scorpios what a dynamic month this is really the month to take action this is the month to put things in place this is the month to take um move forward Whatever plans you have, whatever it is you want to bring into your life, whatever it is you want to do, new business, new position at work, um, a, a new place of work, uh, retirement, travel, what is it that you, new home, what is it that you want to bring in, everything's going to fall into place. There's nothing here that is going to be um, impossible let me say but you need to really set that set that pace another ace the ace of pentacles a new a new a fig, a, blah 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 a new beginning with your abundance that is a finance could be financial could be love it could be health it could be joy it could be um, connections with others what abundance do you want to bring in it could be a new start in, in something that where you're working where you're feeling really grounded and, and positive about it there's so there's you know new starts new starts anything's possible with this new start with the way you think when, you, when your thinking becomes positive, then you're going to bring in that positiveness because that changes your reality and that brings in the abundance that you're seeking. I really like that. You've also got the King of Pentacles and this is you feeling very, very grounded, very strong, very, very confident about your movement forward and what's coming into your life. The changes that you make, you're going to feel really good about. You're going to start seeing results in that transformation. And it all starts with the transformation in you, how you see things, how you're thinking. And that takes you to uh, the realisation, this, this point in your journey where you've gone through all the ones, you know, all the trials and tribulations and you've learnt so much and you're moving forward with, with new passion and new understanding. Uh, and that can also be with your spiritual growth as well. 
you're coming to the end of the um you know the wands is is about enthusiasm and passion and um things happening quickly it's about realizing your life's purpose and so it's everything that happens in august takes you to the point where i know what i want to do with my life i know what my purpose is i know what brings me joy so there's that realization coupled with the aces and the world there's nothing stopping you scorpio this month tremendously positive let's have a look at the um divine abundance deck what is it what final words of wisdom are going to be here for you invite help there you go that's what i said to you you've got to ask the divine for assistance they don't just come in and do things you've got to invite them in your guides invite the divine to pursue you seriously just say i'm finally ready god pursue me ready to have things unfold come in with that energy i hear you i, I feel you and i want to, you to to help me move forward to help me create this new reality because that's what's happening here you're creating a new reality for yourself fabulous my lovely scorpio i wish you love light and many blessings if you'd like to book a private reading with me you can follow the link below to my website and book a reading from there